Good morning. Welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. This is morning prayer for Thursday, the 30th day of November, the feast day of St. Andrew the Apostle. Morning prayer begins on page 79. 80, sorry. Their sound has gone out into all lands and their message to the ends of the world. <clears throat> Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is glorious in his saints. Come, Amen. let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The Lord is glorious in his saints. Come, bless the Lord. Psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. I will glory the Lord. Let the humble hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me out of all my terror. Look upon him and be radiant, and let not your faces be ashamed. I called in my affliction, and the Lord heard me and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encompasses those who fear him, and he will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who trust in him. Fear the Lord, you that are his saints, for those who fear him lack nothing. The young lions lack and suffer hunger. But those who seek the Lord lack nothing that is good. Come, children, and listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who among you loves life and desires long life to enjoy prosperity? Keep your tongue from evil speaking and your lips from lying words. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to root out the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord hears them, and delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted, and will save those whose spirits are crushed. Many are the troubles of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver him out of them all. He will keep safe all his bones, not one of them shall be broken. Evil shall slay the wicked. And those who hate the righteous will be punished. The Lord ransoms the life of his servants, and none will be punished who trust in him. Glory to the Father, Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and will be forever. A reading from the Gospel according to John. The next day, again, Jesus was standing with two of his disciples, and he looked at Jesus as he walked and said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him say this, and they followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following and said to them, What do you seek? And they said to him, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day. What was about the tenth hour? One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which means Christ. He brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, So you are Simon, the son of John. You shall be called Cephas, which means Peter. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 21. You are God, we, we praise you. you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father, 
all creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless prayers. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the holy church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbound, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocates and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not show the burden of glory. You overcame the state of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own life, and bring us with your saints to glory and lasting. I believe in God, Father Amen. Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your, your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. <laughs> Almighty God, who gave such grace to your apostle Andrew that he readily obeyed the call of your son, Jesus Christ, and brought his brother with him, give us who are called by your holy word grace to follow him without delay and to bring those near to us into his gracious presence who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Lord God, as we celebrate the Feast of St. Andrew, so we pray that like him, we might have the courage to offer our whole life to Christ. Heavenly Father, at the call of your son, Andrew followed, not knowing where that call would lead and not counting the cost. Grant to us and to all Christians, we pray, his openness to hear your call, his courage to persist in adversity, and his love to desire nothing more than friendship with you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, we pray for peace in our world, that laying aside the violence of our hearts, we may work together for a world in which all people can flourish. O God of love, in whom we are all united, bring together in your peace all the nations of this world. Keep us from the temptations of blame and aggression to which our human struggle so often leads, and help us instead to pursue the ways of gentleness, diplomacy, and understanding through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This time I invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings.
Lord, have mercy. Yeah. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we are in the world seeking humble time for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all who we We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your prayer, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, the honor and glory of all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Everyone. Amen.